Hey guys, and welcome back to Shine On You Crazy KiCad, which is an introductory course to KiCad, primarily targeted at people started working on Raspberry Pi, but also just general beginners. It's a really quick way to get started. It's just a simple board with two LED breakouts and a header. So today what we're gonna do is be going over which parts you should be buying because if you've designed this header and you've ordered a board like we did in the last video, and if you haven't seen it, that's the link below, uh, when you've done these things, then you want to go and buy the parts right away so that as the boards show up, the parts show up. So let's go and take a look at our desktop here, and we'll go and order some parts. So I'm going to go and order from DigiKey. Uh, DigiKey, here we go. So I use DigiKey, which is because uh, I'm based in the States. It's a little bit more convenient for me, uh, but there's other uh, distributors out there like Mauser and... Uh, uh, RS components and just a, a whole bunch of Aero, Avnet, all those. There's a bunch out there. Uh, you know, you can look at places that do this online, but I'm just going to do this for the search uh, aspect. I'm going to go and search for these things. So uh, let's dig in. Now, first thing we're going to do is do something really simple. Uh, we, if you may remember in the last video, we went over what was contained on this thing, and there was an LED. There's two LEDs, two resistors, and then a header. So let's go and take a look at the resistors first, because that should be the easiest. Actually, before we even do that, why don't we go and take a look at the layout again, uh, just as a reminder of what we have going on here. So these are uh, 1206 uh, resistors. If we take a look at the schematic, we can also see it on there. So we have 1206 resistors. They're 200 ohms. Uh, so let's if we go into here, field value. So R1. Uh, 12, R1206 is hand soldering and then 200 ohm value there. So if we open uh, up DigiKey, which is the thing we're going to search for here, first thing I'm going to do is just search for resistor. And this is just how I normally start. I usually start with uh, with the value or without the value just because it's it's more guaranteed to kind of get to where we need to go. I'm going to search for chip resistor, surface mount, because we are doing surface mount parts. And then I'm going to immediately go to the package size. And there's a lot of stuff here, but I'm going to do a search. Uh, 1206 for both of these. We're going to apply filters. You see we're down to, where is it? Oh, that's weird. Oh, up here. It moved it up here. 91,786 parts. So what we need to do now is filter for value. This is in ohms. So what we're going to do is choose that. Choose a 200 ohm resistor. You see, oh, that's what, that, that's what I was thinking of. 324 remaining. This doesn't a uh, automatic update. All right, so now you can see here the minimum quantity 5,000 or minimum quantity 1. So we're just going to pick the first one we see here. Open that in a new tab by middle clicking. And then here you see there's price breaks. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll choose one. Uh, we could order 100, but, well, actually, you know what? We can just order 100. Look at that. 99 cents for 100, so we'll just do 100. So that's nice and simple. All right, and then I hit add to cart. It's a little bit weird with the ordering thing, but you'll set up a cart here as well. well what happened there? Uh, holiday invalid part number. That's a new one. There we go. Uh, okay, so that seemed to work that time. Now I'm going to go and do LED. Now this one might be a little bit more tricky because uh, getting to larger LEDs, we start to kind of run out of room. Um, so let's do that. We're going to do LED indication discrete. See there's 22,000 or so. First thing again, we're going to go to the package size. Uh, we could we could filter down by surface mount or whatever, but we're just going to go to the, the package. Hopefully, we have what we want here. And there we go. Now I'm going to select two of these actually because I'm not sure if one or the other is uh, is correct here. Sometimes they have multiple listings. So what I'll do is 12:06 for uh, hit the shift key rather and selected both. Then I'll hit some, apply filters. So now we have all the 1206 uh, uh, LEDs here. Now again, you don't want to choose the one with 3000. This is a minimum of 3000. We could also filter this down again. This is on DigiKey specifically. We could filter this down uh, just, just things that have one, a minimum of one. And here we go. I'm just going to choose the cheapest one, which in this case is uh, by light on these green LEDs, green, red, whatever you want to do. They're pretty much the same. If you wanted red, you can do red, but I'm just going to do green. Uh, okay, let's go in there. And then we'll see the price breaks again. We see, uh, well, we could buy up to 100, but that would be $13. $13. We definitely don't need that many. So I will, uh, I will order 25 of these. And again, this is also because, um, you know, if I'll take a second here, um, you'll start to build up your library as well. So you see over here, I've got a bunch of components. I've got a bunch more over there. 
you're going to be building up your library of parts over time. And something like an LED, you're probably going to use a lot of. So if you have LEDs and resistors on hand, you're probably going to be fine um, you know, when you start building out other projects. And then you just have them there. You don't have to order them. You know, and it gets to the point where sometimes I put in orders that are just one or two parts that I don't already have on hand. Uh, you, know, you still have to hit you know, shipping minimums and stuff like that. But um, if you have a lot of parts on hand, it helps for hacking. It helps for uh, you know, fixing stuff if you blow an LED for some reason. So it's just good to have these kind of things on hand as well. Okay, so we're going to add these to cart. And then the final one, I'm just going, I, I don't actually, well, I guess I have to search for this. I, I have the part number selected, but what I'll do is I'll do header. I'm just going to search for header. And I usually just search for the category name anyways, right? So what we're doing here, this is uh, what we're looking, did that go? That went, yeah. Uh, what we're looking for is the header that goes into here. And what we're looking for is what's called a female header. Um, if I can, let's see, so we have header male pins, and I'll open that up. And... Uh, We'll also do female sockets here, right? So rectangular connectors, female sockets. And if I type in Raspberry Pi, Berry Pi image, um, if I type this in, you can see these on here, this is a male header, right? So the ones with the actual pins sticking out of it, oh, there's a better one. So the actual pins sticking out of it, this is a male header. So we wanna have what is the, the mating receptacle with that. And so this is, yes, yeah, so we see here rectangular connectors, female, uh, uh, female sockets, right? So what we want to do is we want to choose, uh, so now what we want to do is something called pitch. And this is, uh, so or row spacing. And so what we're going to do is select 0 0.100 inches or 2.54 millimeters. This is a standard, you just hear them called 0.1 inch headers. You still, there's, see, see there's still 25,000 after even selecting by that one thing. Now what we're going to do is select by rows. We want two rows of five. Right, so two rows, number of positions is total. Uh, oh, sorry, we want, uh, we want two rows of five, but what we'll say is number of positions total is 10, right? So we still have 625 remaining. And now we see we have, this is what's called a programming header. We actually don't want to use this one because again, going back to this image, we want to be able to put it next to the other pins there. And you see there's some slop on here. Uh, this one has some some extra plastic on the outside. We, we wanted something a little bit tighter in there. And so you can see actually I already did click this one. So this is the one that I want. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. You see there's not too much plastic. It still might be a little bit of a squeeze in there. But we're going to select this one. And let's see. Uh, I definitely don't need 25 of these. I'm just going to order 10 of these. Let's see what the total in my cart is. Shouldn't be like more than 20 bucks. Oh, 12 bucks. Okay, so I'm going to go and order this stuff. I go to check out... Um, I'm not going to log in actually, uh, but uh, depending on, on your, uh, depending on what your distributor is, at least in the States, I can ship via USPS or the Postal Service, and it's like 2 or $3 uh, if it's below a certain weight, which, you know, if you're doing these small orders, it almost always is um, pretty, pretty low cost in that regard. You can obviously go much faster. You can order stuff much faster. You can, you know, order it overnight if you want to. That'll be, you know, up to 100 bucks depending on you know your courier and stuff like that. Uh, but your mileage may vary. The thing to note is the things we need for this project are 1206 resistors, 1206 LEDs, and then 0.1 inch headers, a two by five or 10 total connector. So if you have any questions, you can ask over in the forum. Uh, we'll be talking about this over there. We'll also be doing a build video in a little bit and then hopefully a programming video. But thanks for watching. This is the Shine On You Crazy Kai Cad, which is a Pink Floyd reference if you didn't get that one. So uh, it's a Pink Floyd reference. Uh, we will be blinking something soon. Thanks for watching.